I saw a, a need for a different model of pharmacy and a different model of medication management. 90% of our population doesn't live in Broome and don't walk in the front door of our pharmacy. So we have had to adjust our business model around the delivery of services remotely. We have such a vast landscape and our clinics are spread across an area twice the size of Victoria. And then on top of that we have a, you know, a wet season where we have roads closed, sudden flooding, cyclones, which means we have to be unbelievably organised on behalf of our patients. What Hannah did was she saw that the people needed better care than they were getting at present and if she couldn't do it on her own she went and found the people who would work with her to do it. Um, so across the region we work with uh, hospital based uh, doctors, uh, GPs in primary healthcare clinics, remote area nurses, registered nurses, Aboriginal health workers, um, Indigenous medication assistants, uh, renal specialists, pre-dialysis nurses and a whole array of different uh, health professionals. Um, we have renal GPs locally in Broome, but we have the, the nephrologist is actually based in Perth. So our renal patients will travel across the whole region, have two different electronic health records based on their location. So we tend to form the bridge between the electronic health records and the care providers. She has got an incredible improvement in health in people with multiple morbidity. It really is a phenomenal example of what can be done when the health professions work together. In one of our communities we had people um, with multiple daily dosing times of medications and um, so we made a serious effort over the space of a few months to bring everybody down with an educational program to once daily dosing and we saw a massive increase in compliance and a reduction in medication usage um, around polypharmacy. Um, so we were involved in the development and implementation of an electronic medication record. The benefit of this is that as our patients move throughout the whole region, there's a record that all care providers have the ability to access and this results in you know, really good safety and quality around medications for our patients and much better health outcomes as information is collected and shared. The majority of the medications that we supply are done under special Aboriginal health arrangements to patients in remote clinics across the region. Through the use of the electronic health record and ordering system, we have the ability to track medications um, and dose administration aids through the process, right from when they leave the pharmacy to when a patient's given them, which gives us some data around the improvements in health outcomes from the medications that we supply. Now Hannah has actually taken it to another level where she is actually making sure that all the providers are working together and that the, the medicines are available for the patient whether they're in Broome or in Fitzroy Crossing or they're in Derby. She is reaching out at a level that others have dreamed about for many years and she's doing it. You know, Indigenous Health is, is a kind of a really exciting space where you can do a lot in a short space of time and get some real results for what I feel are some of the most you know, in need people in Australia. Um, you know, and I'm, I guess I'm, I feel lucky that I'm in a position to be able to help.